Oh wow guys, check it out. We have just entered into a dinosaur cave. Oh, there's even some up here. Wow, this is too cool. Oh my goodness, it's a Triceratops. Oh, there's bones. That looks like a T-Rex skull. These two are about to have an all-out battle. Is that a Carnotaurus? There's a pterodactyl nest in here, guys. I wonder where Mama is. <gasps> there she is, guys. It's okay, Mama. We mean you no harm. You might want to keep an eye on this prehistoric crocodile back here because he is eyeing up those eggs. Just saying. going on adventurers we are currently here at Boyette's Grove attraction and zoo and it's so funny because we have passed the sign for this place probably a hundred times and we're always like we really need to go there we really need to go there one day and for whatever reason just I, I don't know the timing wasn't right but we are finally here today so we are super excited and you know the word is this place is haunted Okay guys, this way to the zoo. Ready? I'm ready. Oh wow, check it out, there's rabbits. That's the first thing we came across in our adventure today. What's up guys? How you doing? Look at these giant rabbits. So we need to go in this door here to go to the zoo guys. We're getting ready to head into the zoo now. Let's do it. So we're gonna take you through here. You guys are gonna see the golf also which is gonna be fun. Ooh, this is awesome. There's a giant T-Rex up there also. And it looks like a miner, he's uh, prospecting. Oh wait, unless he is a, is he an archeologist? Maybe he's an archeologist because he's here with the dinosaur bones. Uh, yeah. This gives you guys a nice overview of the golf course. They have a lot of really cool stuff in here. Wow, look at this. Like they are really into the whole dinosaur thing. Very cool, man. Oh, here. This is where we're going to be panning for gold. There's no water flowing here. You're right. Outside. Oh. I doubt it's here. Okay, well, this is a sluice, see. This is a sluice box. <laughs> Any way to get the sand through there. To the zoo! Oh, what's up, Emu? There's a friendly Emu here greeting us as we walk in. What's up, buddy? You are straight out of Jurassic Park. You are so cool. Oh, my. Oh my goodness, look at her, or him. No offense if you're a male. What are you doing? Now, would an ostrich be bigger than an emu? Or about the same? Um, I think emus are bigger. Emus are bigger. Not 100%, but they, they similar. yeah, they do look very similar. Oh, emu, I was right. Yeah, I think ostriches are a little smaller. Okay. Emus I know are from Australia. I spy a zebra. Where? Let's see when Lisa spies it. See. And she's got her, Panama Jack hat on and everything. She's ready to explore today. <laughs> oh, I see it. Oh, she saw it. I see the Look shirt. at the moment of excitement. Oh. She loves zebras. I just think it's really interesting, like all the nostalgic stuff that they have sitting around here. Oh, there's an alligator. You guys know how much I love gators. Look at this little baby. Little. She's so cute. Two beautiful zebras. They call these guys giant zebras. Are you guys like a special breed? Hi, you are so pretty. Oh my goodness. Obviously, this one is the dominant one because he came up and this guy backed off a little bit. Are you are you large and in charge? Oh. Oh look, they're getting water out of this. This is so cool. Thanks for demonstrating. What do you need that for a dog? Look at this. Aren't they close? What? That was awesome. This guy legit just took a bow. You guys are pretty smart, huh? That was so cool, guys. They legit saw us coming up here and they came right out to hang out with us and demonstrate their automatic water. That is the coolest thing ever. I mean, we're just getting started. Like, it's about to get exciting. I see other creatures. Huge. <gasps> oh my gosh, over there. What is it? Find <gasps> out. Jen didn't see it yet. Did you see it? Oh, well, maybe she saw it. <gasps> there she goes. This beautiful guy right behind us here is a dromedary camel. You can tell that by the fact that he only has one hump, or she. He's running away. He. 
peeker. You can tell that by the fact that they, uh, I, I still can't tell, it's gotta be she. You can tell that by the fact that she only has one hump. There are also Bactrim, ca Bactrim camels. They actually have two humps. So I know you've probably seen the ones with the one hump, some with the two hump. So that's how you can tell the difference. So I actually used to work with these guys, not just, I've worked with both the dromedary and the Bactrim camels. They are both really cool animals, but so, so powerful. So we're gonna get ready to feed this guy right now. You want these? Sign you up. Let's see what Jen has in her goodie bag. Now this is an extra charge if you wanna feed them, right? I think it was only five bucks for this whole bag. They gave us a loaf of bread. They gave us some alfalfa trees and some oranges. Whoa. Come here, buddy. Check it out. There you go. There you go. How is that? Oh, I like that. Lisa's gonna feed you now. Does he bite? Just do like, yeah, don't That's bite. Sheep. Is it sheep? They actually don't have, I, I don't know if you can tell, they are completely edentulous, which means they have no teeth on the upper. Oh, I just thought that was yeah, true. That's everyone 100% is... true. Oh, that's interesting. And guys, yes, they do spit. Is he giving you some lip? <laughs> or she, did you say it was a she? I think it's a she. Okay. All right, so look, just do the, like the horse, flat, completely flat hand. So Lisa's gonna go ahead and feed. Oh, it's very gentle. Yeah, they are very gentle. They kind of actually grab it with the lip. Yes, they do. Instead of your teeth. Yeah, teeth. they almost have like a prehensile mm -hmm. lip, like where they can maneuver things with their lip. Would you like another? Look at the hooves on that girl. She's a beautiful camera. Yeah, their feet are huge. So I think this is an ostrich, right? I don't know. It looks like it. You want something? I've never seen a white ostrich. Something here is interesting her. Grass. What are you getting? Something grass there. What are you? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, there's food up here and there's grass there. That is too much. That is too much it's for a same. piece of grass. The grass is always, always green. greener on the other side. Is that true? Is that true what they say? There we go. She's just fixated. Oh. Whoa. What? The grass is always greener. All right, you eat your grass then. We're gonna keep going. We're gonna go we'll on with our bad selves. save this for another uh, animal. All right. Guys, look at these beautiful tortoises hanging out over here. I bet you guys would like some more oranges, wouldn't you? Is that true? Would you care for an orange? Look at the size of this bad boy. I like their little shelter too. That's kind of cool. Has uh, sunglasses and a happy face. Put on a happy face. There's one over there too. Uh -huh. One's really knobby. Yeah, he is different. He's a little different. So we just gave this little guy, well, big guy, another piece of orange. So hopefully he'll um, enjoy that for his lunch. Right, buddy? You got flies on you. I wish I could make them go away. I'm sorry. You're so cute. Oh, look, here he comes. Here it comes. You are experiencing turtle vision. Actually, these are tortoises. <gasps> You're a bully. We don't like bullies at all. Oh, well, look at this. We do not like bullies. Are you gonna chase this guy and bully him further? Why can't you just move on with your life and leave him alone? What the heck? That's why he was hiding in his hole. Yeah. That's terrible. Look, he's, Stop that. look, he's forcing him back under. So you're horrible. Aww. What? Wow. That's so mean. Oh, look what it is. Wait till Lisa sees you guys. Oh my gosh. Snout a vision. Snout a vision. I know you guys like that snout of vision. Pull Red. something out of your bag of tricks I there. I bet you they'll eat those oranges too. They probably love that. I thought it's bread. It's like a whole loaf, isn't it? Yeah, they'll eat some bread. Maybe give them some bread and some oranges. They'll be so happy. They'll be your new best friend. Look, guys. Here she comes, or he. Here they come. They like the bread. The bread is a winner for sure. It's good, right? It's so good. 
So this is a pretty cool place. I'm trying to figure out what's in this enclosure. This is a pretty big enclosure. I haven't seen anything roaming around just yet. But we'll see in a minute. What's back there? Oh, it looks like some ponies are back there. Back here in their little shed. Just chilling in the shade. This is the other side of the piggy enclosure where we just were. Look how cute they are. They're adorable. See you guys later. These guys are so cute. I believe they're called KVs, C-A-V-Y. But that one looks like a little baby. Check it out, guys. Lisa's favorite. Lisa absolutely loves primates. He's like playing peekaboo with us. Hi, buddy. What you doing? Oh, look at that giant spider right there. He's trying to warn us about this giant spider right in front of us. Can you guys see that? Do you see the spider? So we're trying to figure out how to get him some food. Yeah, because there, there's a top on his cage. We'll they probably, no, probably not. Yeah. They probably are pretty strict with their diets. Yeah. Oh. What you doing, buddy? I wish we could feed you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, there he is. Look, guys. I don't know if this is the same one. I think it is. There's a hole in the wall. He's very friendly. He just wants to hang out. Hi. I'm going to try to throw an orange. Babe, there's no way to get it in there. There are some in there. Oh. What's this? Don't be angry with us. We love you. I'm try. You're so cute. Lisa's going to... Oh. Uh. Can you reach it? I might. Can you do it? Maybe. Can you do it? Yeah, Your hands are small. They can fit right through that hole. I believe in you. He's looking at his hand. He's um, he said that. he's picking insects off of his leg and eating those instead. Okay. All right. Aww. Okay, guys. So when you leave that part of the zoo, it brings you back in here to the mini golf course. What's in here? Oh, a snake. A snake. Mm. There's a snake. Is that a python? I'm thinking it's a python. He's pretty big. He's in his water dish. Pretty cool. So. I love that they have Disney characters throughout here. Of course, that just adds to the charm. Oh, the stagecoach is awesome. There's even an old player piano in here and another old timer. Oh, they got the grinning ghosts from the Haunted Mansion. Grinning ghosts come out to socialize. This is really cool. There's another dinosaur. So now we have to go in this door over here. Look what we found. Some turtle, turtle, turtles. Just FYI, guys. No zoo food in any of the water. No zoo food, guys. Sorry. Stop begging. Stop. 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 Stop looking at me like that. <laughs> Alright, guys. We are going back into the zoo. Let's see who's in here. Oh, there's an alligator back there. Let's see at the best view of this guy. Trying to find him. Look at this big guy. Probably like a 14 footer. That is a big gator. What a bummer that I can't see him up close. You guys know how much I love alligators. One of my favorite animals. Just be careful if you do come back here, guys, because it is a little bit of a rough terrain area back here. The other area was perfect. Oh my goodness, look at the size of this spider right here. That is huge. I feel like we're going through the jungle right now, guys.
What you doing over there? So I'm really sad that Lisa's missing this. Her legs were getting tired. She had to take a break, but, and this was a little bit of more of a rough uh, terrain area for her, but at least I can show her this video. Hi, buddy. What are you doing up there? Some more cute little ponies. Hi, baby. Oh, you trying to take, take a bite out of my shirt? Are ya? Does my shirt look delicious? Oh, he's embarrassed now. Sorry, I didn't mean to embarrass you. How are you? Oh, he came running for that. He came running. I mean, I can pet you, maybe. Do you want me to pet you? Got some peacocks over here. Hi, guys. How are you? Where are you going? Oh, there it is. There it is. Look at this. There we go. There we go. Oh, there it is. There it is. Beautiful. Ooh, check out how scary, guys. That's definitely a creepster. Hang out in there with the spear box. I bet you're going to hear something. Okay, guys. So, we're back at home now. However, we did get a bag of the Authentic Minerals Rocks Gemstones because we're going to go mining right now. We didn't have time to do it there. Uh, they were getting close to the time that they closed. And this, they did tell me, is more of like a kid's activity. But I thought for any of you that have kids that thought this would be a fun place to go, I would show you like an example of what you can get when you do the gem mining. So, let's do it real quick. And I'm going to explain something after we do this. Uh, this is my makeshift sluice box. I'm not going to use any water. I don't need to. The sand is fine enough. It's not like it's clumped dirt or anything like that. It's sand. So that'll sift right through there pretty nicely. This is our shark tooth sifter that we use when we go hunting those shark teeth. So we're going to go ahead and open it up real quick. And see what kind of exciting things we get. Oh, look at all those gems. Whoa. I'm seeing things. Oh, that's a big nugget. Oh, there's a shell. I see red. I see rubies. All right, guys, we're going to finish dumping our, our bag. Hmm. So this looks like a little uh, seashell. Now, it looks like they did paint the seashells, which is kind of cool. These are actually not real gold nuggets. I'm pretty sure you probably already figured that out because otherwise we'd be rich. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> that would be a uh, <laughs> Prospector's dream right here. But... They do have a value though. What you do is you take these, and there are some in every bag. This seems like a lot though. What you do is you take them in to the store, and they will weigh them, and they will give you store credit based on how much they weigh. And you get what, merch? You can buy whatever, yeah, at the store. So I think that's pretty cool. Like basically a store credit. Pretty cool. That's kind of like the old days. That's why they do that. They used to take it gold in, and you could get store credit in the, you know, really? the Wild West. Mm-hmm. Well, yep. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah. I like it. So I think that place these. is like part Wild West is the theme there. Yeah. I really do. It looks like mostly seashells. I thought there were supposed to be some gems in here though. So I'm a little disappointed with the fact that there are no gems. So well, what I will say is it's definitely fun. Definitely it's fun. Definitely entertaining. And you get store credit. So just keep in mind you're not going to find, you know, a gold rush or, you know, a super gem find. It's not going to happen there. But if you are an adventurer and you like prospecting for gems and gold and stuff like that, definitely a kid's activity. But you know what? If you want to buy something at the store, you might as well do this because the whole thing only cost like, I think it was like $4 in addition to the zoo. So I don't know. I mean, it seems to me this would be at least worth a couple dollars. We'll know. see. We will find out and we will let you know next time we go back. But yeah, these are just little peanut shells. We hope you had fun with us today, guys. It was an awesome adventure. We really did have a good time. And it's safe to say we're probably going to end up going back at some point. And, of course, we're going to take y'all with us. So we love you guys. Thanks for hanging out today. And we'll see you on our next Raptor Adventure.